Okay, we are going to do example one. These are straight up from our textbook. We have taken them out and put them into Cornell notes. Um, I would like you guys to solve this with me. <clears throat> Notice this first part of the expression is the same as the expression up above. So we would show negative 12x plus 4 plus 6x. What is the symbol that's there? Greater than or equal to 16. We're going to combine like terms just like we did above with the expression and we'll get negative 6x plus 4 is greater than 16. <clears throat> what should be our next step? Subtract the 4. We get negative 6x is greater than or equal to 12. We almost have the variable isolated. Divide it by negative 6. And when I do division of a negative, what do I do with my symbol? <clears throat> so x is less than or equal to negative 2. Notice this also says we need to graph the solution. There is no number line printed here for you, so you're going to create it really quickly. We need to have negative 2 on it. And remember, these don't have to be a huge, giant number line. What we're doing is zooming in on it. We circle it, and we ask ourselves what? Is it closed or open? Because it's less than or, in which direction do we shade the line? Who said to the right? <laughs> the other right. Um, when I have to do it off to the side like this, I like to rewrite the inequality above it because basically this is the title of that graph. Turn the page. At the top of your page, there is a try it. I would like you to try this one on your own, and you'll be comparing to me in just a moment. We're trying A and B. 